Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here. Today we are going to make another DIY. So I'm going to show you guys what I've made today. I'm so excited and everything is from recycled. Not everything, but most of it like the figures anyway this is what i've made this one i love us and with the heart on it so there you go so that's the one that i just made so um before we get into there i just want to give a shout out to Alyssa graham she had a facebook and yes go check Alyssa graham on her page down here she is into health and wellness and if you have any questions about that go check her page and yes all right so if you're new to my channel i flipped items from the dollar tree and walmart goodwill or anything that can be recycled i also get inspired from everybody that they posted on their pinterest and anything that they posted on their site or website or youtube you guys are the best you guys just makes me inspired all the time so for my inspiration i also want to share this one for you guys so let's get into this here we go oh hello awesome today we are going to make another project and yeah my hand is super dry so i just put a lotion on it so it doesn't look tacky on your you know but anyway let's get into this what i have right now i'm going to show you what i have first first is this one which is a luminarius luminary something and if you don't have this kind guys i have no option you know me i have to go through my recycle and stuff and if i can use it for something i'll use it and if you have a wood you can do a wood at the same time just like this and i have no wood so i have no option so i got this for a two dollar at goodwill and again if you have a wood use it and yes I don't have a wood <laughs> I know I can just go to Home Depot or somehow but I have no time to go there so I love to recycle stuff so this is a box like long box let me see if I can make it farther so you can see it like that it's a box it's a long box but anyway that's it and the one that I got from the Dollar Tree is a paint if you have a regular paint I'm just using a paint or a white paint so we'll see what we are going to use today a red or a white this one this is just optional I'm just using it for somehow I don't know why it's in here <laughs> and yes this is from the Dollar Tree you are my person and we are going to use that I got this from the Dollar Tree today no, not today, but yesterday. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Of course, the one that we previously used. We are going to use this as well. This is from the Dollar Tree. I know it's a lot and I hope you are not going to get overwhelmed. We are going to use a jute. You can also grab a jute as well at Dollar Tree. And I know, I spend. I got this one at Walmart. A, how do you call this it's a burlap and a paintbrush and if you have a glue gun get your glue gun ready and let's get started right now I want to keep this paint down here you are my person and I want to remove this sticky down here and you can also grab this one at the Dollar Tree it's by the tool area and super super awesome you just really have to be very very careful when you use it because it's kind of sharp so you can use a heat tool whatever you want to use you can but to me this is just the easier one for me to use and I don't have to fight for it and it's just easy for me so all right there you go 
it is done and super clean as you can see all right so right now what i'm trying to do i got this one from the amazon and you can also grab this one at the dollar tree it's super super handy when you are trying to remove a stickiness in there on that sticker so all you have to do is just rub it and seem like the stickiness in there will go with it on your rubber and then you don't even feel anything sticky anymore it's just plainly flat i don't know what's but yeah it does help me so much when i'm trying to remove a stickiness all right so let's get started painting this one with red okay all right so while this one is drying because we are going to second coat this one we are going to work on our for me is luminarius or luminaires box and for you you can use a wood okay so this is what i have so i don't have a wood so i wish i went to home depot but i i am trying to save the planet so here we go i'm going to use this one for now all right so right now i am going to open this one and i'm just going to use three of this all right so i'm going to paint this one with white So they've been painted so what we are going to do right now is I'm just going to wait until they dry and we are going to work on our recycled box this one okay so this is what we are going to work right now while this one is drying okay all right so on this surface I'm going to start on the side so then it's much better that way so i am going to start covering this box with this okay so stay with me okay All right, so as you can see, the sides are looking pretty. And now I am going to cover this up and it's super perfect because it fits on one area. Oh, I'm just so excited. Look at that, fits perfect. All right, so I'm going to keep this one going. So stay with me. Alright, so as you can see, it is beautiful. I love the outcome. Yes, there's some smudges of glue, but that's okay. And there you go, there's the side and the other side. Super cool. Alright, so let's keep this one going. We are done with that box and we are going to repaint this one with red again. All right, so as you can see, I just second coated it and it's super beautiful. They're both red on both sides, the back to back. And as you can see here on this end, there is a black paint in there. So if you are having a hard time to paint something like that, I will show you a trick. All right, so my trick is you can use a Sharpie or you can use a paint, but I'm not really good in painting. So as you can see, I'm just going along with the mood of craftiness. <laughs> okay, so what you can do is you use a marker 
or whatever if you can use a paint do it but I am just going along with this marker right now and I'm trying to make everything dry on the side so what you can do is you just have to follow the tip to tip of that heart that you have okay It is done. So you guys, you can see if you can see a black something on the edge. It's not really. Oh, there you go. Now you can see the black lines in that marker. Yeah, and that's what I want. I decided not to put a mud punch over it because it's already glossy. The paint is. So I'm just gonna leave it like that all right so as you can see you may wondering you may wonder why i don't use a wood because i don't have a wood as i explained earlier i'm so sorry but you can do better than me but this is just one of my tutorials that you can do the same and be better than me okay so right now what i'm trying to do is i'm going to put an eye in here You may wonder why I put a glue even though it's already a sticker. I like to do that because I want my item to be more glued in there because eventually the stickiness will stay in there especially if it's paint it might chip over and then that's why I have to put a glue on so it will go stick inside to that plastic. All right. So right now I'm just going to put this tiny little jute over it so there you go all right so I'm going to glue this one in here I, I'm going to glue this plasticky one so it's not going to be wobbling when you're putting this one away on your center table or at the coffee area or by the corner area I am going to glue mine but if you are using a wood I'm pretty sure it's going to be sturdy and it's just going to stay in one spot so since mine is flimsy and I really really love it I'm just recycling it so it's awesome and I'm just going to glue this one in this box all right so I got this velvet roses from the Dollar Tree and they're pretty all right, I'm going to put that right here on the side. So stay with me. I'm going to decorate this one, okay? all right so it is done super pretty as you can see i didn't glue this one here on the box because you know you can turn it around on the other side whatever the words is saying you are my person super cute and i'm going to show you guys the closer look all right
super fast and easy and I hope you guys like it anyway if you like my video give it a thumbs up please and please do subscribe on my channel and click that notification bell so you get updated on my upcoming videos anyway thank you so much again come back next time you have an awesome awesome day Thank you.